Hi folks, Frank the Pest Geek here, host of the Pest Geek podcast and owner of Nature Pest, a holistic pest management firm that focuses on organic compliant uh, facilities, integrated pest management, I know that's a mouthful, for residential and commercial environments. Basically, what do we do? We take the same principles that are done in hospitals, hotels, laboratories, uh, basically high level facilities and we bring that to the home or business. This is what we specialize in. And what we're gonna be discussing is holistic pest control, the five most important things that people need to understand in order to get this kind of service to be effective for them. And we're gonna go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so five steps to solving the most difficult pest control problems. And getting into this, what we're going to be discussing is this is not pest control. Chemical is not pest control. This, these pictures that I'm going to show you throughout this entire presentation are pictures that we actually got on site. We have not downloaded these pictures. We didn't buy them. These are our pictures. Understand that I'm going into 15 years already as of May 5th of this year of 2021 it's been 15 years since I've been in the pest control business and over 10,000 services that I've performed in that period of time. I've seen some stuff. This is an actual picture of phantom uh, being used for inside. Now, here's the problem with this. A technician gave this customer phantom and gave him a, a, a little bottle and he's supposed to apply this every three months. The problem with phantom is that Phantom has a very strict label applying this product indoors, meaning this can only be used as a crack and crevice. It can only be used as a pin stream in between appliances. The customer was spaceport spraying the entire house with this. Here's the problem. The worst part is he contaminated all the home. He was not controlling the problem and all the surfaces were contaminated inside the home with a product that you're not supposed to do that with. This is what happens when people who do not understand pest control labels, the number one reason most people contact or wait to contact a pest control company is because they think the products we have are stronger or more toxic than the stuff you can buy over the counter. This was not an over-the-counter product, a ready-to-use product. This is a professional-grade product that you have to mix and dilute at the right rate and apply it according to label directions. And yet, because people think our products are so much harmful, they don't call us, but yet they'll go and do something like this to their own home, not understanding that they're applying it at the same rate, probably even more, because he's probably thinking, well, you know, this isn't working. I need to make it stronger. And he's putting more chemical in there than needs to happen. So you get a product like this. You go to the store and you get a product like seven that says kills over a hundred uh, insect pests. And there's ants and ticks and bugs and plants. And you're saying this will control everything. And it doesn't. Why? Because notice what it says. It says it kills. It doesn't say that it will control an infestation. There is no way that you're going to control an infestation with an over-the-counter product applied incorrectly when you have no idea of the chemistry or the biology of the pest. You can use a shoe to kill a bug on contact. I mean, it will kill a bug. I saw my mother do it. I saw my mother kill a rodent with a broom. It kills on contact. However, killing and control are not the same thing. And chemical does not equal control. And this is where the biggest misconception is. They read a bottle like this and it makes for good marketing. It's ready to use. It kills over 100 pests. It has to control everything. And yet, people are spraying this all over their homes and still not getting control of their bugs. 
even with a professional insect gel bait given to a customer where they can buy it online on places like Do My Own, which we are an affiliate of, full disclosure, we will recommend certain products to our clients that we believe they can do themselves. But even with a gel bait like this, people say, I bought this online. It doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work because you didn't use it according to label directions. Listen, I have pest control professionals that having failure with this type of product. My own technicians, until they're well-trained, will not be affected because they will not understand how I have to instruct them based on 15 years of pest control experience of how I've learned exactly how to use these products. There's a difference between you performing 10, 12 services a year to your house, if you're lucky, and a professional like me that sees 10 to 12 houses a day. And in my lifetime, like I said, I've performed over 10,000 services to homes. There are things that I have learned that a professional learns, like insect biology, like how the chemistry works together with the biology. Books we have to read, courses we have to take, and the field experience. So chemical is not going to equal control unless you understand things. So we got plenty of resources for you to learn about how to actually control these problems. If you go to naturepest.com, I've got a DIY podcast. We've got about 20 episodes on that coming out, and we got more episodes on the way. And we also have a DIY blog that shows you how to actually solve specific problems. Here we can't get, why didn't you recommend any chemicals? Because I carry 30-something chemicals on the truck, products to handle each individual problem. I mean, one problem alone could use up three different chemicals, four chemicals. For instance, dealing with drain flies, you got to use DSV, Nibor-D, and foam. And then outside, if you've got them, you got to spray it with an IGR and maybe a natural essential oil to control it outside. And then come back the following week and repeat it all over again for two to three weeks. So getting into specific pest control problems is going to be very difficult unless we create a blog. We also have the uh, Pest Geek Podcast, which this is an industry podcast for growing and operating a pest control business. This is not for the residents, although I have many, many technical and tactical podcasts which we get into depth, real depth, on solving difficult problems and solving routine issues that people miss on how to solve it. So if you got the patience and you want to dig through there and you want to get a real, if you're a building manager that says, man, I really got to know this stuff because I'm dealing with so many issues here and the pest control company isn't solving it and I need to know why. This is how you know why. Do you become a professional? There's also on Nature Pest on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. That YouTube channel has hundreds of videos on actual how to solve most German roach problems, American roach problems, drain fly problems, ant problems. Very, 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 very specific stuff in there. And there's the Pest Geek podcast on YouTube that also has many videos. But again, this is more focused on business development, business growth, and operating a pest control business. So if you're a professional, um, I've got a couple hundred videos in there too. And finally, we're coming up with the Pest Geek Academy where we have certified for continuing education credit courses that we're going to be offering and it's getting populated. Um, we've got about four or five courses that we want to put in there. And these courses are going to be anywhere between one entire, like the CEU courses are two hours each. So one hour and one hour on something different, you get two CEU hours. The other courses are uh, a new technician training course that has everything a technician needs to know about law, about IPM, about HCS, uh, labels, um, SDSs, and all of these legal things that a technician needs to know before he starts to work. And then we're going to have actual training courses on how to deal with roach problems and ant problems and all kinds of different 
um, situations. These are real world training situations that we're trying to get into uh, with a lot of this. So there you go. Those are all the resources. And we hope that this has been helpful to you to help you understand how to start tackling and whether you have a competent pest control technician or a pest control company. Uh, if you have and you're looking for a holistic company, we're only in Miami-Dade, Broward, uh, and we're going to be Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach soon. Um, so mostly South Florida. We're planning to go into Naples and the Keys, but we're only dealing with South Florida. If you need a technician, uh, a, a good IPM company that does holistic pest management, that does eco-friendly pest control, Hey, feel free to drop us a message on Messenger. It's the best way through through Facebook, either on Pest Geek Podcast or on Nature Pest because I get those messages no matter what system I'm on. I'm on five different phones sometimes. I'm on the computer. I'm on the road. Um, I can always get a message there. Um, you can, you know, trying to call us is going to be very difficult because we get so many calls and trying to call everybody back that needs help. But Messenger is the best way. Uh, if you're needing, also, if you go on my, you follow me, Franklin Hernandez, uh, look up Franklin Hernandez Pest Control. Hey, I got hundreds of professionals, follow, thousands. I mean, we got about 3,000 professionals that follow me on there. You, you feel free to drop a question in there and say, hey, I got this problem. I got this insect. Can somebody help me with this? We'd be more than glad to put all of our network at your disposal to help you and help pest control companies that maybe you can't solve the problem. Maybe you need a professional. We can get you a competent person uh, on there that can help you. Hey, I hope this beneficial has been helpful. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a pestacular day.